In today's video, we will discuss the 10 best horror movies about cult. Before we get started, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and thank you for watching. The Sacrament Take the camera. I want you to film this. It's important. It's funny. At number 10, we have The Sacrament, released in 2013, centers around a cult known as Eden Parish. The plot follows two vice journalists, Sam and Jake, who document their co-worker's attempt to locate his sister, Caroline, after she joins this reclusive religious commune. The commune, led by a charismatic leader known as Father, is initially portrayed as a utopian, drug-free community. However, as the journalists delve deeper, they uncover a sinister reality. Hey! Hey! How many more people can fit in this thing? The members are not as content as they seem, and the journalists find themselves trapped in the commune, leading to a chilling climax. The Void it's not real. It's not real. This isn't the end. At number 9, we have The Void released in 2016, is a horror film that revolves around a cult and a hospital. Officer Daniel Carter finds a blood-soaked man on a deserted road and rushes him to a local hospital. The hospital, however, is surrounded by rogue cultists, trapping everyone inside. As the night progresses, the hospital staff and patients begin to transform into grotesque creatures. Help me! Carter leads the survivors into the depths of the hospital, where they discover a gateway to an immense evil. The Ritual What the fuck is that? Fucking hell, we don't know where we are! At number 8, we have The Ritual released in 2017 Involves a cult in the Scandinavian wilderness The plot follows four friends who embark on a hiking trip in Sweden to honor their deceased friend When one of them gets injured, they decide to take a shortcut through the forest they encounter strange phenomena and end up spending the night in an abandoned cabin with airy symbols and a wooden effigy. They are plagued by nightmares and wake up to strange occurrences. They're hunting us. Ah! What the hell do they want? We're gonna have to run. Oh my god! One, two. As they venture deeper into the woods, they realize they are being stalked by a menacing presence. House of the Devil. Are you not the babysitter? Oh At number 7, we have House of the Devil, released in 2009. The story revolves around Samantha Hughes, a college student who takes a babysitting job at an isolated house. The Almonds, who hired her, reveal that she's actually to care for their elderly mother-in-law. As the night unfolds, Samantha discovers the Almonds' terrifying secret. The family she's working for is involved in a satanic cult, and she becomes the unwilling participant in their dark ritual during a lunar eclipse. I know, okay, I know you're right, but it's $400. This equals first month's rent and then some, and all I have to do is sit inside and watch TV. Samantha's fight for survival against the bizarre and dangerous events forms the crux of the movie. Midsommar We only do this every 90 years. At number 6, we have Midsommar released in 2019, revolves around a cult in rural Sweden. The plot follows a young American couple, Danny and Christian, who travel with their friends to a fabled Swedish Midsommar festival. Initially, the festival appears to be a pastoral paradise, but it soon transforms into a sinister, dread-soaked nightmare. The seemingly idyllic community is revealed to be a pagan cult practicing Scandinavian paganism. Absolutely not. What's happening? I don't know why you invited us. As the festival progresses, the rituals become increasingly violent and bizarre, leading to a shocking climax. Mandy. Clawed from within. Strange. At number 5, we have 
Mandy released in 2018, revolves around a cult led by Jeremiah Sand. Red Miller played Nicolas Cage, a lumberjack living a peaceful life with his girlfriend, Mandy Bloom, in a secluded cabin. Mandy, an artist, catches the eye of Jeremiah, who conjures a group of demonic bikers to kidnap her. After Mandy is taken, Red embarks on a spiraling, surreal rampage of vengeance. Armed with a crossbow and custom axe, he stops at nothing to get her back, leaving a brutal pile of bodies in his wake. Hereditary. Dad, I don't like this. What's happening? Hey, no! Amber, raise your voice to me. I am your mother. Raise your voice. Take it, stop. Take it, stop. At number four, we have Hereditary, released in 2018. Following the death of their reclusive grandmother, the Graham family grapples with an unsettling grief that unleashes a sinister legacy. As unsettling events plague the family, Annie, the emotionally troubled mother, delves into their dark history. I can feel them in the room. Uncovering a generations-old pact with a malevolent entity. Torn between grief, fear, and the growing influence of the entity, and he fights to protect her family from a terrifying fate. VHS 2 Safe Haven At number 3, we have VHS 2 Safe Haven, released in 2013 follows two private investigators who break into a missing student's house and find a collection of VHS tapes. One of the tapes, Safe Haven, documents a four-member film crew infiltrating a secret Indonesian cult. As they delve deeper, they unearth horrific, reality-defying revelations. Did you hear that? The investigators realize there may be dark motives behind the student's disappearance as they view the horrific contents of each cassette. Kill List the bad people. At number 2, we have Kill List released in 2011, follows Jay, a former soldier turned hitman who is still mentally scarred from a botched job in Kiev. Pressured by his partner, Gal, Jay takes a new assignment involving three killings. The first two targets, a priest and a librarian, thank Jay before their deaths, unsettling him. As Jay unravels, he discovers that his employers are a cult, and he is at the center of their dark prophecy. The cult has been following Jay since his mission in Kiev, believing him to be their chosen one. Apostle At number 1, we have Apostle released in 2018, revolves around a desperate man named Thomas travels to a remote island in 1905 driven by the mission to rescue his sister from a mysterious cult. The cult, led by the enigmatic prophet Malcolm, claims to have made the barren island fertile through blood sacrifice. Infiltrating the community, Thomas uncovers a web of secrets and disturbing practices. They are false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. As he navigates the treacherous landscape and confronts the cult's dark rituals, Thomas uncovers a truth far more horrifying than he could have imagined, forcing him to fight for his survival and his sister's freedom. That's it guys. If you like this video, kindly give it a thumbs up and make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.